What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to our living room. We are the October. So recently, guys, we reacted to Scary Movie. It was hilarious. You guys loved it. You guys said that we really should have watched Scream before we watched this movie. So I do know who Ghostface is because of like the culture and stuff. Have you ever seen this movie? <laughs> no, I haven't. But I do know it came out in 1996. It was directed by Wes Craven, and it's an 81% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wes Craven directed this? Yes. So that's the guy who does the Nightmare on Elm Street series, right? Wes Craven? I don't know, you but don't know. I trust you if you say that. Anyways, guys, so this is Scream Man. This is the original. This is one of those iconic slasher movies, man. This is one of those cult movies. A lot of people really love this movie. Stay tuned to the end, guys, because I'm going to let you know if I think it's And there's sucks. a whole reason why I skipped this, because I don't like scary movies. Like, subscribe, come join the team. Hit us up on Patreon, guys. $5 Flash Pass. We record, we get them out there. Every time I quick. cover my eyes, take a shot. That's what someone said in the comments. <laughs> this is Scream. We'll see you guys at the end. Let's go. Hello. Drew Barrymore, yes. Mm, who are you trying to reach? What number is this? I think you have the wrong number. Do I? It happens. Take it easy. <laughs> she was so nice. Hello? I'm sorry. I guess I dialed the wrong number. Uh, well, so why'd you dial it again? To apologize. You're forgiven. Bye now. Wait, wait. Don't hang up. What? I want to talk to you for a second. They've got 900 numbers for that. See ya. Oh my Just God. like a like scary, scary movie. movie. Yeah. Hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? Who is this? Tell me. I don't think so. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. What's your favorite scary movie? I don't know. You have to have a favorite. What comes to mind? Halloween. You know, the one with the guy in the white mask. This is a weird conversation to be having. I know. Nightmare on Elm Street. Is that the one where the guy had knives for fingers? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Freddy, that's right. I like that movie. It's scary. Well, well, the first one was, but the rest sucked. I like those movies, too. Boyfriend? <laughs> Why? You want to ask me out on a date? Maybe. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. <gasps> what did you say? I want to know who I'm talking to. That's not what you said. What do you think I said? Do they have cells in 96? I don't know. I was four. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I gotta go. I don't think so. Don't hang up on me. Yeah, we should have watched this before Scary Movie. Because <laughs> I'm going to laugh and people are going to be mad. Yes. <laughs> I told you not to hang up on me. What do you want? To talk. Well, dial someone else, okay? Listen, asshole! No, you listen, you little bitch. You hang up on me again, I'll gut you like a fish, understand? Ooh. Sheesh. Some kind of joke? More of a game, really. Can you handle that? Blondie. Bruh, he called her Blondie. That's so creepy. Listen, I am two seconds away from calling the police. It should be negative two seconds. We're out in the middle of nowhere. What do you want? To see what your insides look like. Page 54. Baby, stop. <laughs> Bro, this John's creepy already. Mm, I don't want him, her to do that. <gasps> oh God! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh my God. Don't that all depends on you. I want to play a game. No. Then he dies no. right now. Which is it? What kind of a game? Turn off the light. Who the heck? No. Here's how we play. I ask a question. If you get it right, Steve lives. Please don't do that. Come on, it'll be fun. Please. It's an easy category. Please. Movie trivia. Or you can give you a warm-up question. Don't do this, I can't. Name the killer in Halloween. No. Jason, right? <laughs> uh-uh. Michael. That's what I meant. Yes! Very good. Name the killer in Friday the 13th. Jason! Uh Sorry, that's the wrong answer. No, it's not. No, it's not. It was Jason. Afraid not? No way. Listen, it was Jason. I saw that movie 20 goddamn times. 
Then you should know Jason's mother, Mrs. Voorhees, was the original killer. Jason didn't show up until the sequel. I'm afraid that was a wrong Dang. Dang, baby, I'd be dead because we don't know. <laughs> oh, he did. We don't too. know these. Oh my god, I would try to help you. I'm afraid he's out. <laughs> What? What just happened to him? <gasps> Did she just watch him do that? Yeah. Oh, the camera didn't show us him? Yeah, thankfully. Hey, we're not finished yet. Final question. Are you ready? Please leave me alone. <laughs> Answer the question and I will. What door am I at? There are two main doors to your house. The front door and the patio doors. If you answer correctly, you live. Very simple. Don't do this, I can't, I won't. Your call. Oh my god. So he was at the patio door. Oh god, the bot horn. I'm terrified of knife fights, for real. Well, I'd be gone right now. You would never see me again. <laughs> I would have so hopped sorry. that fence right behind me. Oh my god, he's so creepy. <laughs> I could have been 150 yards now. I know, the house is on stupid fire too, so like the firefighter's gonna come, so what are you gonna have, two bodies on you, mister? Oh, th that is her parent. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she stiffed him one, boy. <gasps> oh yeah, he's... <gasps> How did he tackle her like that? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Dang, she's some fight in her. That's what's up. Oh my god. Bro, her parents are like right there. I know. <gasps> oh. oh, Jesus. Oh god. Damn, she should have grabbed that camera and put it on his face and oh, we could have seen who he was. Dang. Now we have to wait. Let's go, Mom. Casey! Casey! Where is she? Call the police. Casey, babe. <gasps> Where is she? She's here. Uh, oh my God, I, I can hear her. <laughs> Yo, so far we've reacted to Insidious on the channel and this one's hitting different, dude. Dramatic, dog. Like the music, just the like the way- Everything it, about that was really creepy. <laughs> that scene had so much energy to it. Like that was crazy. Call the police. <laughs> What are you making me watch? <laughs> what are you making me watch? Uh -uh, what is you Patreon wanted to watch make? this. No, what is Yo. Patreon making us watch? It's y'all, bro. Like, what the? Y'all wrong. Woo. That was intense, dog. Oh, it's that boy from Dawson's Creek. <laughs> God, the comments. Okay, we'll stop. We'll stop. Just me. Tell me what the, what are you doing here? Sorry, don't make me. Oh Will you sleep in there? My dad is in the other room. You can't be in there. Okay, just stay a sec. No, you can't be in there. What's going on in there? Are you okay? Can you knock? I heard screaming. No, you didn't. <laughs> what, you're thinking about that part? I know, that movie really did ruin it. It's all weekend, so I won't be back till Sunday. Cash on the table, and I'm staying at the, out at the airport, so call it. If I need anything, yeah, I, I could have it. sworn I heard screaming. Have a good trip, okay? Be tight, sweetie. <laughs> could have been the crack I smoked earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you loved that joke since you was three years old. <laughs> Home watching television, the, uh, the Exorcist was on. Got me thinking of you. <laughs> you did? What a compliment. It got me thinking of us. Now, two years ago, we started off hot and heavy. I know the song. And how things have changed, and lately we're just sort of edited for television. So, you thought you would climb my window and we'd have a little raw footage? <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't dream of breaking your underwear. Thought maybe we could do a little on top of the close stuff. So how close do you think this is gonna follow the plot? I don't know. I hope she doesn't have a barbed wire. Hopefully not too close, yeah. Okay. Eight times stuck Can I see what you do to me? Appreciate the romantic gesture. No, I am not trying to rush you at all. I was only half serious. Hey, Billy, would you settle for a PG thirteen relationship? So it is pretty close. What the heck? <laughs> Becca and Steve Ors were killed last night. What? No way. And we're not just talking killed. We're talking why don't we be killed? Ripped open from end to end. 
Becca, she sits next to me in English. Not anymore. I found her hanging from a tree, her insides on the outside. Oh my. <sighs> do they know who did it? Do they think it's school related? They don't know. Dewey was saying this is the worst crime we've seen in years. Even worse than, well, bad. Worse than what? Mm. Sydney, it would appear to be your turn. Who's up next? Uh, Sydney Prescott. Prescott. She was daughter of. Uh... <clears throat> Sydney, thank you. Hi, Sydney. Sheriff Burke. Dewey. Uh, that's Deputy Riley today, Sid. Very similar. <laughs> and your dad? How's he doing? We're fine. Thanks. We're going to keep this very brief, Sydney. Police just want to ask you a few questions. You okay? Sydney, were you very uh, close to Casey Beck? Remember, your principal loves you, and I want you to be safe. Ask me the venue, Casey. Yeah, they asked me. Hey, they asked if you like to hunt? Yeah, they did. They asked you? Why would they ask you if you like to hunt? Because their bodies were gutted. They didn't ask me if I liked to hunt. It's because there's no way a girl could have killed them. That is so sexist. The killer could easily be female. That's shaggy. Waggy? <laughs> How do you gut someone? You take a knife and you slit them from the groin to sternum. This dude, didn't you used to date Casey? Ah, for like two seconds. Before she dumped him for Steve. I thought you dumped her for me. I did. He's full of shit. <laughs> What are you saying? That I killed her? It would certainly improve your high school kill. Still was with me last night. Yeah, it was. Ooh, that before or after? He sliced and diced. Where were you last night? Working. Thank you. Oh, at the video store? I thought they fired your sorry ass. Twice. <laughs> no, I didn't kill anybody. Somebody said you did. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Besides, it takes a man to do something like that. Yo, I'm going to gut your ass in a second, kid. <laughs> Did you really put her liver in the mailbox? Because I heard that they found her liver in the mailbox. Sydney has a weird friend group. She even she thinks so. She had a dip. <laughs> See you, Sydney. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Sid. Boy, Sydney got a nice crib, boy. I know it's so peaceful looking. What the? <laughs> Doesn't that look like such a good house to get murdered in? Yeah. Yeah, for real. Look at that porch. Perfect murder porch. You know the police and reporters and everything. It's like deja vu all over again. I'll be there by seven. So something bad must have happened. She said it's like deja vu all over again. Yeah. Maybe the town's already had a murder? Maybe. She seems like a smart young girl aware of her surroundings, hopefully. <laughs> I thought he was about to be there. Right now? Yeah. Sometimes movies just hit like that. <laughs> the bodies of 17-year-old Casey Becker and her 18-year-old boyfriend, Stephen Orth, were discovered late last night by the girl's parents. The Woodsboro double murder case. Authorities are baffled by the lack of clues and the savage. The town's in shock, and no one can quite believe what has happened. Although this is not the first time this small community of Woodsboro has endured such tragedy. Only a year ago, Maureen Prescott, wife and mother, was found raped and murdered not far from this peaceful town. Her mom, Prescott. Bro, that's her mama? I think so. So her mama got murdered. You think it was the same dude? It's gotta be, right? Obviously. I don't know. What? It's just a weird MO. He has a mom and then he has a high school kids. A double murder? That's that's a strange motive to me. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Hello? Practice ran late. I'm on my way, okay? It's past seven. I'm gonna swing by the video store. I was thinking Tom Cruise and all the right moves. <laughs> Mm -mm. Tatum, just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Who is this? You tell me. You called. Well, I, I have no idea. Scary night, isn't it? With the murders and all, it's like right out of a horror movie or something. Randy, you gave yourself away. Are you calling from work because Tatum's on her way over? Do you like scary movies? I like that thing you're doing with your voice, Randy. It's sexy. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? Are you alone? Randy, that's so unoriginal. I'm disappointed in you. Maybe that's because I'm not Randy. So who are you? Question isn't who am I. Question is where, where am, am I? I? Ooh. So where are you? Your front porch. What's up with him in the porches? Why would you be calling from my front porch? That's the original part. Oh well, yeah? Well, I call you bluff. So where are you? Right here. Can you see me right now? What am I doing? What am I doing? Love! Nice try, Rand. Bye now. If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. Do you want to die, Sydney? Your mother sure didn't. Fuck you, you creep. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, she's dead now, right? No! Dang. Don't go up the stairs. No, no there's no escape that <laughs> Jump way. Jump out the window. 
Oh, okay, there we go. The game. <laughs> Forget you, Billy. Right. The killer series in the house. Yeah, bro. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait! Oh my god. I found this. Why is he so goofy in this movie? Ask us to tell you, Billy Loomis. Sir, call these guys off. I didn't do it. Sir, wait, wait, listen. Oh my dad. Please call him. Sydney! Sydney! You're gonna be able to come down to the station and answer a few questions, Sid. Oh shit, Sydney! I'm good, I'm so sorry I was late. Tatum, you can't be here. This is official crime scene. Dad's out of town, all right? She's staying with us tonight. Does mom know? Yes, doofus. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> Creepy, huh? Jesus, the camera, hurry! My name isn't Jesus. <laughs> Sydney, is that you in there? Is that Sydney Prescott they took away? I'm not talking to you. What happened to her? None of your damn business. I heard something about a costume. Is that true? Can you tell me anything? Yeah, you're a real pain in the ass. I know that you're about 50 pounds overweight, but when I say hurry, please interpret that as move your fat ass now! <laughs> That's almost better than the spoof, bro. I know. I don't like her one bit. <laughs> I hope she gets got. Don't worry, Sid. We'll find him. Do we? They got that mask. Roger, this I'll be right back. This movie is honestly creepy, dude. I know. I think it's gonna be just like in Scream, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, I don't know how accurate it's gonna be. Yeah. Get those calls, I yeah, swear. Yeah. Well, why don't you check the phone bill for Christ's sake? Call Vital Phone Comp. They got the records of every number dialed. Well, thanks, Hank. We're <laughs> on top of it. What were you doing over at Sydney's house tonight? I wanted to see her. That's all. And last night, Sydney said you crawled through a window last night too. You went out last night? Got bored. I decided to go for a ride. Did you happen to ride by Casey Becker's house? No. No, I didn't, Sheriff. I didn't kill anybody. Nobody asked you that. He's implying it hard, though. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to hold you, son, till we get those phone records. It's crazy. How can they just have stare downs in there? Yeah, go. Hi, Gail Webb is reporting live from the Woodbury Police Station. Hey, where's she hope you get a glimpse of Sydney Prescott? Hey, watch the hand. No you know who you're dealing with here? <laughs> Sydney. Lie, you're Billy. Sydney, come on, you know me. Sydney, look at me. They're just running up in that police station, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Sell this costume every five and dime in the state. There's no way to track the purchase. What about that cellular phone bill? Well, we're pulling Loomis's account. We won't know anything until the morning. Think he did it? 20 years ago, I would have said not a chance. These kids today, damned if I know. Hey, Dewey, can we go now? Is that the same guy who plays Doofy? What if Mama tell you? No, 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 no. Wear this badge. You treat me like a man of the law. Sorry, Deputy Dewey boy, but we're ready to go now. <laughs> everything is really Back similar, way, though. Sir. I'm kind of shocked at how like close everything is. <laughs> But I guess Shaggy's supposed to be uh, the guy that was shorty. Not shorty. Uh, the mad one. The the one that's like roid raid one. Is that who he is? I don't know. The one that drops her. Yeah. <laughs> don't move. There she is, Sydney. Cause he's dating her and she's like Buffy. Some night. What happened? Are you all right? She's not answering any questions. All right, just leave us. No, no, Tatum. It's okay. She's just doing her job, right, Kim? Yes, that's right. So, how's the book? Well, it'll be out later this year. Oh, I'll send you a copy. Oh! oh. Nice shot. Bitch. No, I mean, can you learn a punch like that? I'll send you a copy. Bam! Bitch went down. <laughs> Thought you might want some ice for that right hook. I'll be right next door. Gotta get some sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you really think Billy did it? Was there, Tatum? He was destined to have a flaw. I knew he was too perfect. Telephone, honey. My dad? I don't think so. Take a message. No. Uh, okay. Hello? Leave me alone. Looks like you fingered the wrong guy again. But why is he so obsessed with her, though? I don't know. Because maybe her mom died? Well, maybe he's a, he was obsessed with her mom, but like... Maybe he was obsessed with the death of her mom? Hello. Sydney Prescott, who escaped a vicious attack last night, is the daughter of Maureen Prescott, who was brutally killed last year when convicted murderer Cotton Weary broke into their home and savagely raped and tortured. Cotton Weary is currently awaiting appeal for the death sentence handed down after the young Sydney testified against him. She was the key witness in the state's case against the- Man, she's been through hell. Her last year's been tough. I know. Billy was released. His cellular bill was clean. He didn't make those calls. We're checking every cellular account in the county. Any calls made to you or Casey Becker are being cross-referenced. It's gonna take some time, but we'll find him. Don't worry, you stayed at school, you'll be safe here. So how does it feel to be almost brutally butchered? Hey. <laughs> no, they have a right to know! <laughs> 
stop right there. I'm not here to fight. I just need to talk. You owe me. I owe you shit. You owe my mother. Your mother's murder was last year's hottest court case. Somebody was going to write a book about it. Right, and it had to be you with all your lies and bullshit theories. What is your problem? You got what you wanted. Cotton where he's in jail, they're going to gas him. Do you still think he's innocent? Your testimony put him away. It doesn't really matter what I think. During the trial, you did all those stories about me. You called me a liar. I think you falsely identified him, yes. Have you talked to Cotton? Many times. And has his story changed? Not one word. He admits to having sex with your mother, but that's all. He raped her and then he butchered her. Her blood was all over his coat. He was drunk that night. He left his coat at your house after your mother seduced him. I saw him leave wearing it. No, you saw someone leave wearing that. The same someone who planted it in Cotton's car, framing him. No, Cotton murdered my mother. So you think that she put the wrong guy behind bars and he's coming back to finish her off? Maybe. Nice welt, sweetie. Go sit. <laughs> Killer's still on the loose, isn't he? Those murders are related. Sorry I mangled your face. Wait, Sydney, don't go. Innocent man on death row. A killer still on the loose. Kenny, tell me I'm dreaming. You want to go live? No, no, no. This is huge. You can't just sit up. I know. That's why we need proof. I'm right about this. I could save a man's life. Do you know what that could do for my book sales? <laughs> Want you to meet me right here after class, okay, son? Hey, hi. Haven't seen Billy around. Is he really pissed? Oh, you mean after you branded him the candy man? No, his heart's broken. Ow. Stu. <laughs> Can you look at this place? It's like Christmas. Stupidity leak. Sydney. Mm -hmm. oh. ah, Jesus, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. You still think it's me? No, I, I don't. It's just somebody was there. Billy. Some, someone tried to kill me. I know, me. I know. No, the cops said I scared him away. I know. He called me again last night at Tatum's house. You see? It wouldn't have been me. I was in jail. <laughs> he didn't wash your hands, does then. <laughs> Sorry, please understand. Understand what? And I have a girlfriend who would rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me you know that's not true then what is it billy i was attacked and nearly filleted last night i mean between us you haven't been the same since since your mother died is your brain leaking my mom was killed i can't believe you're bringing this up no it's been a year tomorrow one year tomorrow you know what? i think it's time you got over that i mean when my mom left my dad i accepted it. it's the way it is he's not coming back your parents split up not the same thing your mom left town she's not lying in a coffin somewhere okay 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 i'm sorry it's a bad analogy so he's got mom issues yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a year is not enough time to get over your mom getting <laughs> oh, no. murdered like you know what i'm saying especially brutally murdered like yeah. that like and sorry if my traumatized life is an inconvenience to you and your perfect existence <laughs> nobody said that Sid. <laughs> <laughs> So sick. Your entire havoc inducing, thieving, whoring generation disgusts me. <laughs> so, two of your fellow students are just savagely murdered. And this is the way that you show your compassion and sensitivity, huh? Let me show you something. You're both expelled. Yeah. Out. Come on, Mr. Hembry. It was just a joke. That's not fair. You're absolutely right. It is not fair. Fairness would be to rip your insides out, hang you from a tree so we can expose you for the heartless, desensitized little shits that you are. Are they trying to make us think it's multiple people? I think they're just trying to show that like teenagers are just like scary, bro. She was never attacked. I think she made it all up. How did she lie about it? The girl has some serious issues. I would just stop going to school if I was her at this point. What if Sydney killed Casey and Steve? Sydney went with Steve. She's her own bubble butt boyfriend, Billy. Maybe she's a slut, just like her mother. Her mother's death leaves her disturbed and hostile in a cruel and inhumane world. She's delusional. One day she snaps and wants to kill herself, but she realizes that teen suicide is out this year and homicide is a much healthier therapeutic expression. Where do you get this shit? You are pathetic. <laughs> that was evil. That was so terrible. And Cindy be swinging too. Girl. He ain't in the stall, is he? That's some dirty stalls. Mm -mm, you gotta go. You just get out of there. Don't investigate that. Someone there? All you gotta do is walk out the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm not investigating nothing, especially during these times. Uh-uh, I'm not getting on the ground. Perfect stabbing position. Mm -mm. Run. Uh-uh. <laughs> Nice slide. What appears to be a prank. Several students were seen wearing scary masks. School officials have yet to comment, but this is known to be the same costume worn by the killer. 17-year-old Casey Becker and her boyfriend Stephen Orth 
have already lost their lives. Hi, Gail Weathers, field correspondent, top story. I know who you are, Miss Weathers. How's the eye? I is there a problem on campus? No, everything's under control. Well, of course, you're here. You look awfully young to be a police officer. I'm 25 years old. You know, in a demographic study, I proved to be most popular amongst males 11 to 24. I guess I just missed you. <laughs> of course, you don't look a day over 12. <laughs> I need your attention now, kids. Due to the recent events that have occurred, effective immediately, all classes are suspended until further notice. Oh no, what the heck? I would go running down the hallway. Looks like we've got a serial killer on our hands. Have you located Sydney's father yet? No, not yet. Well, he's not a suspect, is he? We haven't ruled him out as a possibility. If you'll excuse me. I'm sorry, am I keeping you? If I may say so, Miss Weathers, you are much prettier in person. So you do watch the show. I'm 25, I was 24 for a whole year. <laughs> Just some sick fuck having the last in me. No, it was him, Tatum. I know it. Kizu, kiss, kizu, eat, ease out. Darling, I don't know what you did, Sydney, but on behalf of the entire student body, we all say thank you! Prom two party tonight, my house. Celebrate this little siesta. What do you say? Are you serious? Come on, son. For me? It could be fun. Damn, they're trying to have a party right now. I know, that's a good place to get sliced. Cool, you guys bring food, all right? <laughs> <laughs> What's he from? The principal? Yeah. <laughs> he plays on something. Yes. Home Alone? I don't know. I've never even seen Home Alone. He just looks like he'd be on there. <laughs> Damn little shits. Would you call me? Not your friend. Oh, is that supposed to be Freddy Krueger? Yeah, was he supposed to like Freddy Krueger? I was thinking that. <laughs> this little cameo. I'm excited to watch that. Mm -hmm. I want you to watch those movies so bad. I've never been able to get her to watch them with me, but I love those movies. Well, I thought he was about to be like... Mm-hmm, just that whoosh, quick one. You better go find out where Fred is and hang out with him. <gasps> oh my god, that's so scary. He was having an affair with your mom. I mean, your dad has always had a town on business. Maybe, maybe your mom was just a very unhappy woman. If they were having an affair, then how come Cotton couldn't prove it in court? Well can't prove a rumor, that's why it's a rumor. Right, created by that little tabloid twit, Gail Weathers. It goes further back, Sid. There's been talk about other men. And you believe it. I mean, you can only hear that Richard Gere gerbil story so many times before you have to start believing it. You know, if I was wrong about Cotton Weary, then the killer's still out there. Look at others, Sid. You're starting to sound like some West Carpenter flickers. Don't freak yourself out, okay? We've got a long night ahead of us, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, not Blockbuster. Oh! Jesus, this place is back tonight, man. What's that werewolf movie with E.T.'s mom in it? The Howling Horror, straight ahead. Okay, thanks. Oh, now that's in poor taste. You know, he's awfully obsessed with horror movies. Mm-hmm. Suspect in a senseless bloodbath. Would you be standing in the horror section? It was just a misunderstanding. <laughs> he didn't do anything. You're such a little lap dog. He's got killer printed all over his forehead. Okay. Why the cops let him go, smart guy? Because obviously they don't watch enough movies. This is standard horror movie stuff. <laughs> Prom night revisited, man. Why would he want to kill his own girlfriend? There's always some stupid bullshit reason to kill your girlfriend. That's the beauty of it all. Simplicity. Maybe Sydney wouldn't have sex with him. Now that Billy tried to mutilate her, I think Sid would probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't at all. I think it is. You know, I think it's her father. You know, why can't they find her pops, man? Because he's probably dead. See, the police mm -hmm. are always off track with this shit. If they'd watch prom night, they'd save time. There's a formula to it. A very simple formula. Everybody's a suspect. <laughs> it's Billy. How do we know you're not the killer? Hi, Billy. Maybe your movie <laughs> freak mind lost its reality button. You ever think of that? You're absolutely right. I'm the first to admit it. If this were a scary movie, I'd be the prime suspect. Be your motive. The millennium. Motives are incidental. Millennium, I like that. That's good. It's millennium. Good kid. He's a little grease ball. I think it's both of them like scary movie. But that's supposed to be, Shaggy's supposed to be the guy who went shopping, right? In San Francisco, who just wanted to go shopping? No, he's supposed to be the... The he's guy. obviously best friends with the killer. They're like homies. They're yeah, both obviously some yeah, friends together. Yeah, but he's supposed to be the guy that's like road rage guy, like her boyfriend, actually. Are you sure? Because in Yeah, because he's like a D-bag. So I think the guy that's the road rage, or the road rage guy is the guy that was just yelling in the store. Right? Maybe. I don't that's got to be him. So the killer's got to be Shaggy and the boyfriend. Maybe. If it's like scary movie, I think so. 
We learned our lesson, y'all. We we'll watch we'll watch them in the rain room. Yeah, next time we watch a spoof, man, we're gonna watch all the movies before. Trust, but. Mm -hmm. Saw that movie. It's about a killer in Texas, huh? Hey, so just think if they make a movie about you, who's gonna play you? He is a young Meg Ryan, my son. Thanks, Dewey with my luck, they'd guess where he's spelling. I'm just gonna be a few minutes. Wish I knew those people. Really gonna be there tonight? He better not be. I told Stu to keep his mouth shut. I think we can live without the endorphin rush for one night. I remember Tostitos like that. So you I have a few it. intimacy issues as a result of your mother's untimely death. It's no big deal, Sid. You thaw out. Yeah, but he has been so patient with me. Dewey, where the hell you been? I was keeping an eye on Sydney. Dewey, vital phone just faxed us. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott. Well, there's no way a cellular could have been cloned. Guess what tomorrow is? The anniversary of his wife's death. <laughs> Let's find Neil first, make sure he's our man. Is he a cop or not? Like He is, but see in Scream, the Dewey was the killer, right? Scary movie. Yeah, I keep calling it Scream, but in Scary Movie, Dewey was the killer, right? I think so, but it didn't really tell us. He just rode off into the night. But is he giving you, like, killer vibes in this one? Yes. Dog because, Yeah, because he keeps popping up, like, after, like, a scene. Like, like they'll be, like, doing something, and then he all of a sudden pops up. See, they're playing this song when he just dropped her off. I feel like he's obsessed. You're catching all the bars. I like that. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. Always wrong. Man, Gail, you better get out of here. I'm gonna celebrate when she gets chopped up. We spotted. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Deputy, yeah, it's okay. What brings you to these parts? Well, you just never know when or where a story will break. Not much of a story here, just a bunch of kids cutting it loose. See, he's like cutting. Just keeping an eye on things. Let me just get my coat. She looks like the girl from Friends, kinda. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll get it. Grab another beer, would you? Yeah, you I'm the beer witch? I'm not gonna believe who's here. It's a chick from Top Story. Get yeah, oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Have a good time. Dewey, what is she doing here? She's with me. <laughs> I just think you're awesome. Oh, thank you very much. I watch your show religiously. You just found my father? I'm afraid not. Can I be worried? Oh my god, she's pointing the camera. Is this a scene from the garage? Oh no. It's gonna be her? I guess. Dang, how many did she have to get? Hit him. It's okay. Hey, shitheads! Hello? Mm. Is that you, Randy? And what movie is this from? I spit on your garage. Lose the outfit. If Sydney sees it, she'll flip. Oh, you want to play psycho killer? Can I be the helpless victim? Okay, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. Bro, he's already getting hit at this point. Would you hit him already? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> ah! ah. He's kind of dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck her! Oh, she got a good aim. No, no, no. That's never a good idea. Did she really try to do that? Oh, no. Boy, they don't make them like that no more. Our garage door would never do that. Yeah. She's gonna get cut off. Oh my God. And he just yeah. So it's definitely it's definitely who's was missing from that scene. Sydney's boyfriend, right? Because he was there, but Sydney's boyfriend wasn't. Oh, there he is! All of a sudden. Yeah. I feel like he hates. And where was Dewey? He's with the reporter right now. Hoping I could talk to Sid alone. I tell you what. Why don't you guys go up to my parents' room? You know, you guys can talk. Whatever. No, it's okay. We do need to talk. Oh. Or him. What's another face doing here? <laughs> there goes my chance with Sid. Come on. You're a genius. Oh, shit. What? I got a delay. How long is it? I don't know. What'd it take you to walk from the house? 30 seconds? It'll be fine. Just record it. All right. Oh, the placement is perfect. 
Has a cheesy tabloid journalist ever won the Pulitzer? First time for everything. Did you hear that? What? He said he has a 30 second delay. That's probably relevant. Oh, okay. Specifically, like, drop that in there. So, sorry. I've been selfish. I want to apologize. No, really, I, I'm the one who's been selfish and self-absorbed with all this post-traumatic stress. I can't wallow in, in the grief process forever, and, and I can't keep lying to myself about who my mom was. Aww. And I know, I know it doesn't make sense. It's like Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs when she keeps having flashbacks of her dead father. But this is life. This isn't a movie. It is it. It's all, it's all a movie. It's all one great big movie. Genre. He uses that phrase a lot about movies. Remember, he's talking about being R-rated and stuff at the beginning. Yeah, that was weird. It's kind of true though. Well, it's like a movie you just can't pick your genre. I know. Sometimes I feel like mine's in the horror. Sometimes it's like in Pixar. Why can't I be a Meg Ryan movie? Are you sure? So. Bro, he's creepy. I know. Doesn't he just look so creepy? Here it comes. What? <laughs> oh, yes! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Can you watch this shit over and over? When do we yes. see Jamie yes. Lee's brat? Not until Trading Places in 83. Jamie Lee was always the virgin in horror movies. That's why she always outsmarted the killer in the big chasing. Don't you know the rules? What rules? Jesus Christ, you don't know the rules? Yeah, that's the angry guy. For instance, number one, you can never have sex. Oh. <laughs> big no no! Number two, you can never drink or do drugs. <laughs> Number three, never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. I'm getting another beer. You want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Oh! You see, you push the laws and you end up dead. Okay, I'll see you in the kitchen with a knife. Only virgins can outsmart the killer in a big chase. Oh, here we go. Yeah. You don't know the rules. There are certain rules that we're the sheriff just radioed. Somebody reported a car in the bushes down the road. I'm gonna go check it out. See, why is he leaving? Be right back. Not scared, are you? Do you know what that consolation is? No, what is it? I don't know. That's why I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to him, Stu? She probably got pissed at me and bailed. I feel so forced to me right now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? Holy shit. Listen up. They found Principal Henry dead. He was gutted and hung from the goalpost on the football field. So what are we waiting for? Let's go over there before they pry him down. Woo! Hey. Guys, go. Because I'm guessing the guy in the garage getting the beers dead. He's not here. What do you mean? The guy that was going to get the beer he's not back yeah but there's two killers in a scary movie i don't know man remember that was two i'm not trying them. to relate it to scary movie i'm just trying to make it on my own well in my mind it's almost like scary movie in almost every way for the most part the only part about this movie that's unique is the cotton part Real name? no it's dwight Dwight. Louis just something i got stuck with a long time ago oh i like it Sexy. Uh, it's just this town's way of not taking me serious. I'm sure I'm coming fast. Slow down! Freeze! Go! I'm sorry. I'm on duty. <laughs> Is that what you're looking for? My whole life. Damn. What? What is it? This is Neil Prescott's car. City's father? Yeah. Jesus, what's he doing here? We gotta get back. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Who'd you call? What? Uh, well, I don't know. When you're arrested, you're allowed one phone call. So I was just curious. Who'd you call? I called my dad. No, um, Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. But when I called, I didn't get an answer. Hmm. You don't still think it was me, do you? No. No. I was just thinking if it were you, it'd be a very clever way to throw me off track. You know, using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you, that's all. Really? <laughs> what do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Oh my god. Huh? Oh my god. Sydney. Billy, watch out! <laughs> okay, so we about to find out who the killer is for real. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, that was creepy. <laughs> Run, Sid, run! <laughs> he kind of knows that house, yeah, though. Yeah, he does. Because I wouldn't know about that. Help me, somebody! Help me! 
Why can't she just go slam him in the door? Yeah, I'd have been in attack mode a couple times throughout this movie. Yeah, and I probably would have risked breaking my leg right here. <gasps> yeah, for sure. Punch, punch. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-uh, you gotta go. He's not there. No, Jamie. Uh, watch out. Watch out, Jamie. You know he's around. No. Oh. Oh, there he is. I told you. I told you he's right around the corner. Jamie, look behind you. Look behind you. Turn around. I'll turn around. Behind you. <laughs> Bro, he got so lucky. I know. Oh, <laughs> God, dang. Behind you, kid. Behind you. Look around. What? Oh, 30 second delay. Get there it is. Man. I knew it. Fire extinguisher. Break his hand. I'm you know what I'm saying? I was. Why well, break How his did damn hand? How you figure that out? Why did he? Why, and why did he follow? Did he just go out the other side. That must be Shaggy. The Stupid. Dumb one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way he's running in with that gun. <laughs> this movie's giving me anxiety, man. Me too. All kinds. The music in it is just. Y'all see the blood? I uh, know, the body kind of went far. Oh, there it is. Get with it with Prada shoes. 911. Let's go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh no. Get you, Tori, but get out my face! Oh my god. Do it! Do it, where are you? That was like a bloodbath party. Sydney? <gasps> so it must not be doing this one because that's in his back for real. Oh my god. Oh my god, he opened the back. Uh uh. Hello, help me please. I'm at Stu Mocker's house on Turner Lane. It's 261. Turner Lane, please. He's gonna try and kill me. Sidney! <laughs> Jesus, we gotta get the fuck out of here! Stop right there! Don't shoot, it's me! I found him, she's dead! Bro, that'd be so scary, dude. I know. Especially if you're like a girl, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Just all alone in the house with three dudes, three psychos. <sighs> Oh my god. If that stab didn't kill him, that did. No, he's faking. Oh, are you okay? Oh, I'm okay. Oh, you were dead. Yes. I'm like a step. Oh, no, he's out there. No, give me the gun. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Help me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get in, get in. Stu's flipped out. We all go a little mad sometimes. No. Ah! What? Oh. Anthony Perkins, psycho. Should have never gave him that gun, man. Corn syrup. Same stuff they use for pig's blood and carry. He loves scary movies, don't he? I told you. Surprise, Sydney. Ooh, ooh. Oh, now, whoa. 
What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. Why are you doing this? It's all part of the game, Sydney. Don't guess how I'm gonna die! Fuck you! We already played that game, remember? It's a fun game, Sydney. See, we ask you a question, and if you get it wrong, fuck ya! You die. You get it right? You die. We'll never get away with this. I don't know. Tell that to Cotton Weary. I wouldn't believe how easy he was to frame. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. Oh it was fun. <laughs> Why? Why did you kill my mother? Why? Why? You hear that, Stu? I think she wants a motive. I don't really believe in motive, Sid. I mean, did Norman Bates have a motive? No. Did they ever really decide why Hannibal Lecter liked to eat people? Don't think so. You see, it's a lot scarier when there's no motive, Sid. He's right about that. Did your mom a favor, Sid. That woman was a slut bag whore who flashed her shit all over town like she was Sharon Stone or something. Face it, Sydney. Your mother was no Sharon Stone. Is that motive enough for you? How about this? Your slut mother was fucking my father. She's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me. Eternal abandonment causes serious deviant behavior. It certainly fucked you up. It made you have sex with a psychopath. I told you he was a freak. He had lung issues. I can no longer have virgin. Now you gotta die. Those are the rules. Oh, oh, this is the greatest part. You're gonna love this. We got a surprise for you, Sydney. It's a scream, baby. Hold on a sec. I'll be right back. Ah! I know what time it is, It's after midnight. It's your mom's anniversary. Congratulations. We killed her exactly one year ago today. Oh, what do we have behind door number three, Sydney? Daddy. Whoa. Guess we won't be needing this anymore. Uh huh. Oh, they're gonna frame him. Got the ending figured out yet, Sid? Come on, you think about it now, huh? Your daddy's the chief suspect. We cloned his cellular. Evidence is all right there, baby. What if your father snapped? Your mother's anniversary set him off, and he went on a murder spree, killing everyone. Except for Billy and me. We were left for dead. Then he kills you and shoots himself in the head. Perfect ending. I thought of that. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Yeah! Man, get up! Hey! Oh, my man, Jesus. My turn! What in the world? Stay to the side and don't go too deep. Ah! ah. What is this? Oh. Give me the knife! Now! You see, Sid, everybody dies but us. Everybody dies but us. We gonna carry on and plan the sequel. Cause let's face it, baby, these days, you gotta have a sequel. Ah! Ah! He's sick for fucks. You've seen one too many now. Nah, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos for creative. Oh my god. Take any more. I'm feeling woozy here. You get the gun. Anxiety, bro. Ow! Uh, uh, Houston, we, we have a problem. What? The gun, man. The gun. I put it right there. It's not there. Where the fuck is it? Right here, asshole. Gail's got it. My girl. <laughs> Take it all back, Gail. Shoot him. I've got an ending for you. The reporter left for dead in the news van. Comes to. Stumbles on you two dipshits. Finds the gun. And pop. Foils your plan and saves the day. I like that ending. I would have already done stab him. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man. better without the safety on. This is Gail Weather signing off. Baby, you're gonna love this. She's gone. Where are they? Where are they? <coughs> I don't know, but I'm hurt, man. Fuck. Is she calling them? That's fire. Hello? Are you alone in the house? <laughs> Not so fast. We're gonna play a little game. It's called Guess Who Just Called the Police and Reporting You. Sorry, motherfucking ass. Find you, you dipshit. Get off the camp, Billy. Are you coming to me? I think I'm dying here, man. <laughs> oh my god. Hello? Oh, Stu, Stu, Stu. What's your motive? Billy's got one. The police are on their way. What are you gonna tell them? Peer pressure. I'm far too sensitive. <laughs> Find me first, you pansy ass mama's boy. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around! <laughs> Sorry, ass. Like, my mom and dad me. She just tore up their whole couch like that. She ain't still in the house, is she? 
Do it again and again. There you go. Bro, grab the gun. There you go. Get the knife too. Oh my God. Can I always have a thing for you, Sid? In your dreams. Ah. Uh. I'd still stab him. Yeah, I know. Confirm your kills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh my god, Randy, I thought you were dead. I probably should be. I never thought I'd be so happy to be a virgin. <laughs> How are they still alive? That's what I'm saying, bro. I'd have put that right in his throat. Say hello to your mother. Ah! ah! <laughs> again. Shoot him again, Gail. Oh yeah, she got up. I didn't even see that part. Randy just got punched right in his nose. <laughs> Guess I remember the safety that time, you bastard. Nice. Careful. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life for one last scare. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my movie. That's right, she wrote the genre. <laughs> Dad. She said, oh, damn. Gail's about to make millions. She's about to be the most famous journalist in the world, man. Oh, wow. Look, cut on the face, heck yeah. Hi, this is Gail Weathers with an exclusive eyewitness account of this amazing breaking story. So Don't ask why I was at a team party. Bringing to an end the harrowing mystery of the mass killings that has terrified this peaceful community. All right, guys, that was like very suspenseful the entire time to me how'd you feel about it babe so this movie gave me anxiety from the moment it started from the moment it ended i thought this movie was honestly incredible this movie to me phenomenal i thought every camera shot was amazing i thought every facial expression added so much just intense drama to every scene yeah, i thought the 90s music movie, it was pretty good this movie yeah. honestly was fire this was dope this was I'm one of my favorite i'm still so mad we watched scary movie first i wish i wouldn't have known that man because uh, yeah. the whole time i sort of knew it was gonna happen but to be honest that but didn't. we didn't we did but didn't yeah, this so Dewey didn't end up being a killer. That no. was completely different. Yeah. There was a lot of things about the movie that were different, but there was a lot of things that was the same. But to me, man, this movie was just really good. The yeah, music in this movie was was top tier. This movie don't like when I watch a horror movie, I want it to give me suspense from the moment I turn on, from the moment I turn it off, and I don't want to look away because I that want one to be delivered. so invested. <laughs> that one delivered, guys. That was dope. I see why it's a cult classic. If you guys enjoyed this content, man, just like, subscribe, come join the team, share the videos. That stuff really does help. Yeah, guys. thank you, Patreon, for making us watch watch this yeah this was a dope movie and just yes. thank you guys for the support man we're having so much fun making these videos we're watching some awesome movies this was a phenomenal and movie, any man. more like this drop a comment below we'd love to check it out i feel like this is one of those movies that maybe in life i probably would have watched it at some point but the older i get and the faster the world moves it's just harder to find time to watch these movies that i miss but i was I'm just really... too scared and and it really wasn't that kind of scary yeah i yeah. didn't have to be like there's no demons ah! I thought the movie would be a lot cornier than it was because it was older, but I mean, this movie yeah. was just, this movie was swinging. It was so. good. It was good. All right. We're not going to talk too much, man. I know you guys are busy. Like I said, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. We're having so much fun, guys. We're a little over 6,000, maybe more by the time this video comes out. Thank you guys so much for the support. We're just going to keep working and putting every single thing back into this channel, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.